you just can't stop winning at the minute. The run continues. 11 in 12 now. Yeah, it's um, once again we're coming to a game that's you know Stockport, a big club, uh, but good players and. Uh, just thought it was a really professional performance by the boys today. Uh, two 0 at the break, though. Did that did that flatter you somewhat? Yeah, probably. But I, I, you, you could only score you know, the chances that are put in front of you, and uh, you know Chapman's really shown us today uh, a sort of little glimpse of, of, of what he's about. So, uh, but I, I thought we had one or two chances, you know, other than in the two we scored, probably probably uh, simpler chances. But I, we can't be greedy. I don't want to be greedy. It's um, you know the, it was a professional performance and. Uh, I much, I much wanted three points. Adam Chapman, quite clearly the star of the show, he's, he was perhaps a bit rusty on Wednesday night at Woking, but he showed just why you brought him in to the, uh, into the club. Just how good was he? I, I just thought it, it was a professional team performance. You know, and Chappie's done what, he's, what we know he's capable of. He's, he scored three quality goals. And, um, but I thought, I thought we worked hard as a team. and. Uh, I don't want to single out any individual. We, we knew what Chappie was about. We know what he, what he can do. And, uh, I just think that, I think that's just a little glimpse of, uh, of what of what he's about. So uh, good team performance, more, more than more than singling out individuals. Uh, the players just uh, coming by us here, uh, clearly in good spirits. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, there's a happy dressing room at the minute, and it's uh, it's a happy camp. And everybody seems to be enjoying the football and uh, the dressing room banter. And, uh, you know, the unity between the boys is, is excellent. So, uh, but like I say, we, we've just ticked a game off. No one's shouting from the rooftops. Uh, I don't know how many games we've got left. I, I couldn't tell you, but um, eleven. Uh, eleven. We've got a tough one on, on Tuesday. And that's all we're looking at. The, the next game in front of us. This is massive now, isn't it? The next three. I mean, this is so exciting. This uh, end of season running, but particularly the next trio of matches. How many points are you looking to get from these next three matches, Paul? I'm looking to get three points from the next game, Steve. That's all I'm looking to do. Not You're looking, not looking beyond that. No, no, no I, I don't want to do it. I, um, you know, I know the managers like to put permutations in, and uh, if we get five out of nine and stuff, I just no. We, we, what we're doing is we concentrate on the next game in front of us. That's all we can do. Uh, and if we, you know, if we carry on the form, um, you know, we, we've got a good chance of winning games. If, if we if we don't and we start to become a little bit arrogant and, and take a foot off the pedal, we'll get a beat to something like that. You are joint leaders, though, at the table, uh, at the top of the table as we speak. Does that mean anything? No, as I see it, we, uh, someone just showed me the, uh, the league table and we're third. So, um, you know, we've got some weight to go now. You know, I'm, just, I'm happy where we are. I'm just winning football matches. Lads are enjoying the football. Supporters seem to be enjoying, the, the, you know, the football as well. Um, but like I say, feet back down on the ground. We've won a football match. We've got another tough game on Tuesday, and uh, you know we, we're just taking each game as it comes. Uh, winning now for you and your players has uh, certainly become a habit. What do you say after uh, a game like this, where you're just uh, sweeping sides away? Sometimes you, you're better off saying nothing. Uh, you know, when the lads get into a mode, it's like, you know, and they get into that rhythm. Sometimes you, you as a manager, all you need to do is point them in the right direction. I've always said football players win football matches. Uh, the hunger, the desire, everything's there, the way they're applying themselves. Uh, that's all I can ask of them. Uh, you know, tactically and, and, and individual performances, don't worry me. If the, if the group's hungry and uh, want to get about teams like we've done today, then, then we have a good chance of winning a football match and that, that's all it is. Just how big is the game on Tuesday night against Grimsby? As big as the other ten. Like I say, the result won't matter on, on Tuesday. If we get beat, uh, we'll look at the next one. Uh, but we're just ticking each one off at the minute. Uh, be a tough game, but whether, whether you're playing Grimsby Town or, or whether we play Telford, uh, with all due respect to both clubs, both, both of, uh, are big clubs, both, both uh, are really tough fixtures, and we'll, we'll approach you know, every game now as, as, as we have done uh, with a positive mindset, but uh, a hungry mindset. Do your players currently share your level-headedness? I, I, I don't know, I suppose you'd have to ask them. Uh, it's my job to keep them back on the ground. I say at half time, I, I didn't think we were performing as, as well as we probably could do, but uh, we're not going to be brilliant every, every game. I understand that, but it's my job to, to raise the bar um, and, to, uh, and to keep feet on the ground. So, uh, I, you know, players are based, they know that they're based on, on individual performances, and uh, if, if people don't want to perform, and uh, they'll, they'll find themselves sat with me. And, 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 and looking, looking in on what could be a, a good season for us. We talked about Adam Chapman, uh, Adam Chapman earlier, of course the latest of your signings. 
as we enter the final furlong of this season, can we expect anybody else coming in? Uh, there's always that option. Uh, we've had players that have, uh, have been on trial with us uh, from big clubs, um, but it's not always about bringing players in with, with, with big reputations. Uh, in reserve team football, we, you know, we've got to we've got to make sure we bring players in that are schooled and, and understand this level of football, and more importantly, uh, the kind of good pressure that is, is is where we're at at the minute in terms of we're in a nice position. Um, so yeah, there they could be, there could be, but it all depends on, on on the boys that are playing, the boys that are that aren't in the side at the minute and sat in the stands. I think their 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 mindset and their attitude will will tell me a lot whether I need to go out and strengthen because I, I, I want hungry players. Uh, just because somebody sat on the bench today, uh, they might start on Tuesday. And I need to know that the player that comes in Tuesday is going to be hungry and wants to win. Can this squad win the title? I think the, the proof in the pudding that Steve will be the last game of the season. Uh, you know, All I want to do now is, is look forward to the, you know, the next game, which is Grimsby Town here at home, which will be a really tough game. And uh, you know, I'd say ask, ask, me, ask me at five o'clock on the, on the last game of the season. I'll make sure I do that. Thanks, Paul. Well done today on another excellent win. Thank you. Chappie, you've done a host of interviews for me this week, and I said to you on uh, Friday that you'd done your last one, but we just had to speak to you after that. Yeah, just cut the, cut the week off nicely, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's been all right, isn't it? Not too bad a start. Not too bad a start? <laughs> I've put the pressure on myself now, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> I hope people don't expect a hat-trick every week, but hopefully I can keep the performance levels up. You can't have been expecting that surely at 3 o'clock today. To be fair, I said to Muz before the game, I don't, I don't normally say it, but I fancied a goal today. I don't know what what was coming, what I had that feeling about, but I did fancy one. And when it went in, I thought, oh, that's all right. And then when the second one went in, I thought, I'm not going to score a hat-trick, am I? So, <laughs> nice way to put it in as well at the end. Exactly, the third was something else, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't hit him too, like, two minutes like that, so hopefully I can keep that going. And it's something that I have always wanted to work on when I was at Oxford and previously at Sheffield United. I did want to score more goals, so hopefully I can add that to my game running into the end of the season. What was it like here playing uh, in front of the home fans for the first time? Yeah, they were brilliant. They were definitely brilliant. They kept us going all the way through. I mean, we could have done with that third one. Keith made a great save in the first half. I think if that goes in it, it's game over straight away. So. 2 0 is always that score at half time. You think they're, they're going to come out and get at you early doors in the second half. So we needed that third goal and they really did help getting us that goal. And Green has made a great finish as well. Um, how important was it that you, uh, that you played well today? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Wednesday night we got the result. We didn't necessarily put a great performance in, but it was a dogged performance which, which was needed. But I thought today we passed the ball around, especially. Last half an hour, last 20 minutes, I thought we'd played some really nice football and created a few chances. Though. Some players often say that it's perhaps a little bit difficult coming to a new club at this stage of the season, so late on in the campaign. What type of dressing room have you entered here? Yeah, they're all brilliant. They're all, they've all welcomed me really, really well. I mean, obviously I've got two or three pals here that I knew anyways before, so I made it a little bit easier, but they're all welcoming, they're all on the, they're all on the same path, they all want to get promotion, they all want to win the league, so it's been brilliant. Does this squad have the mini rules to win this league? Yeah, 100%. I mean, obviously I've been promoted from this league two or three years ago, and I know what it takes, and then look around, and we're not too far off what the Oxford squad had, to be fair, so it's definitely possible, 100%. Why do you say that with such conviction? Because I look, at, because I look around and I see the quality that we've got, for a start in certain individuals. I mean, going forward, I think we look a threat at all times. And on the boys at the back were solid as a rock today. I mean, they've scored a wonder goal. You have to hold your hands up sometimes and the other night they scored a penalty. So they look really solid. We don't look like conceding sloppy goals. Not only that, the togetherness is brilliant as well. Uh, let's talk about the next batch of games. Of course, um, the next three <coughs> matches are huge, aren't they, for Mansfield Town's season? Yeah, that's the that's going to be where I want to get through these three games. We're going to know where we're at then. If we can get through them with a decent points tally, we're looking at the championship table, aren't we? So it's a big game. We've just got to make sure we enjoy it. Don't put too much pressure on ourselves. Just keep the run going. Not put too much pressure on ourselves and, do, and just enjoy the game. How do you ensure that you don't get carried away? Just take it game by game. That's the main thing that the managers emphasise before the game. Just the next game. Don't think about two or three games down the line. Don't think about yeah. Like, don't think about this game when Tuesday comes around. Just take it game by game and keep ticking them off. Would it be easy to get carried away? 
trappers? Yeah, of course it would. I mean, if you look at the run the boys are on, they've been flying even before I came in, so it's easy to get carried away, but I don't think they have. I think the reason why we're still on this run is because boys aren't getting carried away, boys are doing the right things day in, day out. Come match there, they're taking it out into the pitch. Do you expect uh, you and the players to enter these next three games with some trepidation, knowing that what could be ex knowing what could be at stake? Yeah, you could do, but like I say, if we can keep the pressure off ourselves as much as we can, keep the pressure off ourselves as much as we can, and then just enjoy our football that like we have been doing. I'm sure we'll be fine. Well done today. No problem, thank you. Cheers. Lyndon, how was that to be back? Um, yeah, yeah, great feeling. Um, I've been, to be honest, been getting down quite a while um, since I've been out. Um, so yeah, it was obviously Gaff gave me a chance again, and um, I feel like I took it. And yeah, so hopefully we can kick on now. Uh, a few of the results went our way, so. Yeah, it's all positive. Let's talk about the match. You played a big part in two of the three goals, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be honest, I just wanted to work as hard as I could today and just, just keep running for the team and that. Um, yeah, yeah, see that. Um, an opportunity opened up and that. Um, yeah, we take it and that's so, all, which we did. And obviously, Chappie got the goals and Greeny as well. So yeah, we'll take it all day. Was that one of your fans there or one of the players? I think he's uh, one of the players, but I think he's a fan as well. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. He admires me and all that. So I think his name's Nick Wright. Well, it won't be Louis Briscoe because you might keep him out of the side on Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, with Louis, I just spoke to him then. Um, obviously, he's, a, he's on problems with his glute and that, which is unfortunate because I think personally he's been doing well um, as a winger. Um, the stuff he's been doing has been, um, been class, so yeah, it's unfortunate for him. So, you know, hopefully we can get him back sooner, um, sooner rather than later. And yeah, it's a bit of competition for me. Well, both of us and Junior as well, so and, and Righty. Um, so, yeah. Um, just hope we can get him back. Did you find it easy then, just slipping back into the starting eleven? <laughs> nah, to be fair, uh, like like my fitness levels for the whole ninety and that, like I think yes, the last yeah. last thirty, um, I was struggling a bit, but you know, I started to get through it. Um, I guess Gaffer like left me on just to just for um, just for fitness basically. Just um, just kept on kicking me on. Um, at the sidelines, telling me to keep running, not working hard, and just get the most out of the game. Let's look ahead now to the next uh, batch of matches. At Grimsby Town, Forest Green and Wrexham in succession. What do those trio of games mean for Mansfield Town's season? Uh, I think it's make or break, to be honest. I think every game, like, I mean, we have to win every game. Every game is make or break because <coughs> like, when it comes to it, it's going to be like whoever loses one game or whoever wins or draws, you know what I mean? And obviously those games, I mean, we need to beat Grimsby. Um, Wrexham, if we can do the double over those, like that will put them to bed. And then obviously it's just down to Newport. Obviously, I think it's going to go down to um, the last game of the season. I think it's as a Wrexham and a Grimsby Newport. So I think personally, um, last game of the season. But yeah, like I say, every single game is make or break. Have you got your eye on the title, Lyndon? I've got my eye on the next game. In the next game, that's what Gaffer's saying. That's what all the boys are saying. The next game. Has he told you to say that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been saying it. That's how I play. That's how I play. Next game. You know, there's no point looking at the title or whatever because. You know, been there. Like I was there last year, you know, in the playoffs and that. You know what I mean? And you can see like the heartbreak of uh, when you don't make it, when you got high expectations and that, um, and it don't happen. So, you know, it's the next game. Does this side, oh, does this side have the edge over the one which uh, competed so well in this division last season? Yeah, I think it's there now. I think it's like we got to that point. I mean, I know early in the season and that it was, um, it was, there was a summer not clicking right, like when we did last season and that but it was the same last season as well and then like obviously late on in the season we just started like kicking on and that and now it's happening again you know so I mean we've gone from ninth in what about three weeks four weeks and that you know and we're up there now so you know what I mean it shows and that um, I like I said you know in the interviews and that just stick by the gaffer and that and um, you know what I mean because the way he plays and that the way he builds his team and that it's always late on when we kick on like from experience with him the past two three seasons it's been the same thing like late on the season and we just get up there and we hit good form which we're proving again he's proving it again we're proving it again so hopefully we'll just keep going and right to the end and we might win it like hopefully we'll win it but you know we've got to win the games we've got uh, to win all the games let's talk about tuesday night again finally do you expect to be in the starting 11. uh i don't expect anything like to be honest uh obviously right now with gaffer it's it's up to him, like whether he puts me in or not. You know, I'll take it and that, um, and just work hard when I get my chance again. Or if I'm in there, I'll work hard and I'll I'll hopefully keep my place. 
If not, then, you know, I'll have to work and get my place back. Who knows? You spoke very deeply to me a couple of months back, saying you were really low in terms of confidence. Uh, not personally, of course, uh, in life, but just about your football. Yeah. Is that back now? Is that creeping back up, those levels of confidence? Uh, yeah, 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 it has, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, since I've been out of the team and that, just in training and that, I used to see it's just, it's just getting me the hunger back. Um, I guess I lost the hunger for football, really, and that, and just wanted to Why do... was that? I don't know, it just it just happened, I don't know, just maybe got a bit complacent and that, you know, just, just obviously playing week in, week out, just maybe thinking, oh yeah, I'm not going to get dropped or something, and you know, that's what I needed, like, a kick up my arse and that, which I got, and in training and that, you know, um, just been working hard and that, and just doing what I do best, and obviously now I've got my chance again, and just hopefully, like, it's still more to come, you know what I mean, I still need to build more confidence and that, and just do more, like, I'd like to score today, that would help, but, you know, um, so hopefully, yeah, like, well, I think it's about 10 games after something, I'm not too sure, you know what I mean, hopefully, like, I'm, I'll play a massive part in that, and hopefully, um, I can build confidence and when it comes to it, you know, like if it comes to a big game like the last game of the season, like I say, hopefully I can do a lot, like hopefully I've built then and do a lot then. Thanks Lyndon, well yeah. done today. Yeah, no worries.